What's up everyone, it's the Razor Edge, and today I'm here to bring you guys some Gears of War 4 news. The Coalition have dropped a brand new official Gears of War 4 trailer for the summer update known as Rise of the Horde, as well as a truckload of information about the update itself. But first and foremost, yes that's right, Clayton Carmine is back in all of his sweet, sweet glory, and he's not alone. He is accompanied by live and well versions of his brothers, Anthony and Benjamin Carmine as well. How unbelievably hype is that? Definitely drop a like on the video if you're hyped for the return of Clayton Carmine. But let's get on with it. The Coalition go on to say, prepare for the biggest ever update in the history of Gears of War 4 and all for free with the Rise of Horde arriving on June the 6th. And if you haven't dived into the next chapter in the epic saga of Gears of War 4, you can try it for free later this month with a free game trial. Horde is getting a massive shakeup with the arrival of Rise of the Horde with 15 brand new Horde skills, 3 per class to collect, level 6 skills, loot drops, tuning changes and new difficulty levels. The new 15 skills arriving in the Rise of the Horde focus on providing new ways to specialize the way you play your class. The scout has new abilities like Cloak to turn invisible in their quest to pick up power, while heavies can take the Berserker and Last Stand skills to deal more damage and take more damage with heavy weapons as they get lower on health. Snipers can take Magic Bullet to get increasing headshot damage bonus rewards. Soldiers can use Siphon to earn more power for grenade plant kills. And Engineers can resupply their comrades with ammo when their fortifications kill enemies with the new Salvage skill. This is just a taste of some of the new skills to collect this June. In addition, all your existing skills can now be taken to level 6, making them even stronger than before. Here is a full list and breakdown of all of the 15 new skills that are newly available in Gears of War 4. For the Engineer, we have Flow, Overclock, and Salvage. Flow is to take reduced damage while repairing fortifications. Overclock is to increase the rate which weapon lockers replenish ammo. And for Salvage, we have enemies killed by your sentries have a chance of dropping ammo magazines. The Heavy now has a Thick Skin, Berserker, and Last Stand. Thick Skin is to take reduced damage from explosions. Berserker is, while carrying a heavy weapon, you deal more damage as your health gets lower. And for Last Stand, while carrying a heavy weapon, you take less damage as your health gets lower. The Scout now has Dodge, Speed Loader, and Cloak. Dodge is to take reduced damage while roadie running. Speed Loader is roadie running will reload your equipped weapon automatically with active reload rounds. Cloak, being stationary in cover for seconds will cloak you from enemies, leaving the cover or shooting will remove the cloak. Shoot enemies from cloak for a small damage boost. Sniper now has Steady Hand, Magic Bullet and Called Shot. Steady Hand will give you the ability to take less damage and have reduced camera shake while being attacked while aiming or scoping. Magic Bullet gives you the ability to get critical hits with precision rifles, aka the long shot Marksa and Embar, penetrate through enemies and increase the damage of the next shot. And finally for the soldier we have Siphon, Resupply and Assault Rifle Accuracy. Siphon gives you the ability for planted grenade kills to cause enemies to drop more power. Resupply regenerates one grenade every number of seconds up to the starting loadout number. And Assault Rifle Accuracy gives Assault Rifles the ability to become more accurate the longer they are fired while in cover. In addition, defeating bosses now comes with rewards. Each boss wave you defeat at wave 30, 40 and 50 will drop a singular random horde skill. Skill. Harder difficulties increase the likelihood of a rare drop, so challenge yourself for the best chance at a high quality skill drop. As with the last major update, there's also more in store for Season Pass holders. When the update lands on June the 6th, Season Pass holders will have an exclusive gear pack containing 5 of the new Horde skills waiting in their inventory along with a bonus free Horde Expert pack. There's also some exciting news to share for Xbox One and Windows 10 gamers who haven't jumped into the Gears of War 4 experience yet. From June 9th to the 15th, the Coalition are offering a trial version of Gears of War 4 to download completely for free. This full game trial will offer 10 hours of free play in Gears of War 4, including the entire first act of the campaign, plus full access to the Horde and Versus experiences. That means you can try out Rise of the Horde on top of all of the great content that exists in Gears of War 4 today. For new players, they will be offered special bonuses to earn as you level up including guaranteed characters, weapon skins and new horde skills to try. 
so you can put those horde skills to good use and there will also be double class XP throughout June. The more you level your class, the more skills you can use on the battlefield. Everything you earn in the trial is yours forever including achievements, cards and campaign progression. Mark your calendar and prepare to download the trial on Xbox One or Windows 10. Grab it while you can, it's only available for download between June 9th and 15th. Head on over to the official game trial page for full information on all the content and offerings along with FAQs. New difficulty levels are also coming, known as Inconceivable and Iron Man. With new and improved skills also comes tougher challenges. Prepare to take on the toughest fight in Gears of War history, with the new Inconceivable difficulty level coming to both Campaign and Horde. In Horde, Inconceivable is a direct step up from Insane. You'll be even weaker and your enemies will be even stronger. Level up your skills to their new level 6 peak and maximize the bonuses of your classes if you want to get through all 50 waves of Inconceivable. In Campaign, Inconceivable takes a more survival based twist, giving you less health than Insane difficulty but also less health to your enemies. That's because surviving on Inconceivable is all about effectiveness. Weapons and crates drop significantly less ammunition so you'll have to make every shot count with whatever pickups you can find on the battlefield. In addition, Iron Man mode comes to both Horde and Campaign with Rise of the Horde. Iron Man means one simple thing, do not die. In Campaign, one death will restart your game back to square one. In Horde, no cog tags will be dropped when you die, and one failed wave spells the end of your run to wave 50. You can toggle Iron Man on any difficulty that suits you, and there's some achievements out there to chase for fans willing to take on the ultimate high risk challenge. 20 new achievements are set to arrive with Rise of the Horde, offering an extra 500 gamer score total to collect in Gears of War 4. The list of achievements are as follows. Inconceivable, complete all campaign acts on Inconceivable difficulty for 20 gamer score. Pumping Iron, complete all campaign acts on Iron Man, hardcore insane or Inconceivable difficulty for 50 gamer score. Legends of Sarah, complete all campaign acts on Iron Man in co-op, on hardcore or higher for 50 gamer score. Six is the new five, upgrade a skill card to level six for 10 gamer score. Winning hand, upgrade five skill cards to level six for 10 gamer score. Classy, upgrade all skill cards for one horde class to level six for 50 gamer score. Crafty, crafted a craft only card for 20 gamer score. Scrap happy, destroy a card for five gamer score. New horizons, complete 50 consecutive waves of horde in a squad on any post launch map for 10 gamer score. Around the world, complete 50 consecutive waves of Horde in a squad on 5 post launch maps for 50 gamer score. Mind blown, complete 50 consecutive waves of Horde as a sniper on Inconceivable in a squad on any map for 25 gamer score. A scout always pays their debts, complete 50 consecutive waves of Horde as a scout on Inconceivable in a squad on any map for 25 gamer score. I've got you in my sights, complete 50 consecutive waves of Horde as soldier on Inconceivable in a squad, any map for 25 gamer score. You shall not pass, complete 50 consecutive waves of Horde as engineer on Inconceivable difficulty in a squad on any map for 25 gamer score. Nothing is over, complete 50 consecutive waves of Horde as heavy on Inconceivable in a squad on any map for 25 gamer score. Never know what hit him, complete 50 consecutive waves of Horde as a sniper on Iron Man, hardcore or higher in a squad on any map for 20 gamer score. You win or you die, complete 50 consecutive waves of Horde as a scout on Iron Man on hardcore or higher in a squad on any map for 20 gamer score. Tactical necessity, complete 50 consecutive waves of Horde as a soldier on Iron Man, hardcore or higher in a squad on any map for 20 gamer score. The Great Battle of Our Time, complete 50 consecutive waves of Horde as an engineer on Iron Man, hardcore or higher in a squad on any map for 20 gamer score. To survive a war, you gotta become a war, complete 50 consecutive waves of Horde as heavy on Iron Man, hardcore or higher in a squad on any map for 20 gamer score. And now for the new maps, this month another Gears of War 2 fan favorite returns with Avalanche alongside returning Gears 3 map Rustlung. The Gears of War 2 map known as Avalanche you know and love is back. Set in a mountainside resort, this village sits below a mountain with an unstable buildup of snow at its peak. During the match, the snow avalanches onto the battlefield killing anything in its path and changing the entire middle of the map. 
prepared to fight for the boom shot the moment the snow falls. This returning map, known as Rustlung from Gears of War 3, brings an intense close quarters flavor to this month's map drop. Cover in the middle of the map can be dropped or raised with the press of a button and sneak around your opponent's flank to give them a nasty surprise as their cover disappears from right in front of them. And now for something a little bit different, we have something called the gear with the golden gun. There's even more reasons to play this month with the debut of a brand new versus special event known as Golden Gun. This custom built mode arms you with a one bullet and hip fire only bullet hawk. Land your bullet to instantly return it to the gun. Otherwise prepare for the longest reload of your life. It's the ultimate game of Gears Chicken. Second wave packs. Log in up until June the 8th at 10 a.m. PDT to instantly claim two free second wave packs. These packs contain one cog and one swarm character from the following pool. Second wave cog gear pack, UI or male or female. Second wave swarm gear pack, onyx gold swarm drone, onyx gold swarm grenadier or onyx gold swarm hunter. If you're away from your console or windows 10 pc during this period you can log in with your gamer tag to our card companion app on gearsofwar.com to claim your packs. And now finally the return of wings. Today the coalition are announcing that wings the iconic symbol of the ultimate dedication to gears of war are coming back with the rise of the horde. Five new wings levels await you once you crash the initial 10 re-ups with each Wings level taking longer than the one before it. Exclusively for Wings 1 to 5, we've added a black gold starting weapon skin set to collect as you rank up. If you reach the ultimate Wings 5, you'll collect the Wings Custom Lancer, the only Custom Lancer skin in the game. We'll be revealing the new Wings re-up icons and black gold Custom Lancer in the coming days. For more information as updates and tuning changes, be sure to visit GearsOfWar.com via the link in the description down below. But what do you guys think? Are you excited to finally see the return of Clayton Carmine in Gears of War 4? Are you happy that we are getting living versions of Anthony and Benjamin Carmine? And which part of this huge update sounds most exciting to you? And do the re-up skins sound super badass? Let me know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to drop a like and subscribe to my channel for all future Gears of War 4 content. Share the video around if you really enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to drop a like, leave a comment down below letting me know what you thought, subscribe to my channel if you're brand new for more videos, share the video around if you really enjoyed it, and I will see you guys next time.